be careful, everyone, when dealing with Sony, memory cards, photos, raw, video. It may just not, <laughs> it may just not work and just do not format your memory cards. Um, today I was out shooting properties and views and stuff and I did a couple of photos with the um, Sony RX100 Mark IV, got it. Um, however, I've seen a few videos where people are commenting about how trying to get the files off the memory card or off the camera are an absolute nightmare. I had a little bit of an issue in my office. I'm going to see if it's the same here. So, norm and it was it was a pretty close one because normally what I do, sit the memory card into the computer, get it set to all download, then when it says done, I just, there's a, something pops up, I click OK, it starts making the previews, everything's cool, and uh, then, then that's it. Then I take the memory card out, put it in the camera, format it, and start again. However, as I will do with that one in a second, I'll put that in a special formatting pile. So here is what's just come out, the Sony RX9, uh, to RX100. I uh, I enjoyed it, shooting. I enjoyed shooting with it today. Um, I did. It was a bit of a bummer at the start. I put it into aperture mode and uh, tried to take a photo out some guy's window. I was like, oh, I can't change. Oh, it's totally overexposed for some reason. I can't do anything. Oh, what's, what's, what's happening here? And it was, uh, I couldn't figure out where, how to change the ISO. It's a simple thing now that I know how to do it. So right, okay, I'm taking out all the memory cards. There shouldn't be a Lumix. Yeah, no photos found, obviously. So jealous of that guy. Anyway, so yeah, let's see. So that's it, imported. I shot in RAW and JPEG, just in case it's screwed up with the RAW and we can't see any of the RAW files. So we've got an instant showing of the JPEGs. Uh, the RAWs are saying preview unavailable for this file, even though it's a... Uh, uh, hold on, help. Check for updates. Software is up to date, no updates required. Okay, import. Right, okay, so while we're waiting for that to come in, it's saying um, there are 100 to, 1 to 100 and 101 to 127 so 127 uh, raw format things were not um, uploaded, updated. So this is something which I think in my office I just went click, yeah, fine, and walked out. And I realized I have no raw files. So let's just double check. Yeah, JPEG, 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 JPEG. JPEG. Okay, so it seems like Adobe Lightroom. Which one is this? This is like 5.7. Done. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit out of date. Uh, is not, still not for the RX100 Mark IV. Let me play. And uh, maybe if you're on the Lightroom which is in the cloud, or whatever, the subscription base, maybe you're getting that, but effectively nothing, no RAWs have been downloaded, so therefore, um, are, have they even, or no RAWs have worked in Adobe Lightroom, so does that mean there's none that are actually in the computer, they haven't actually come off the, the memory card, so if I were to delete these, suddenly just like sit the memory card um, into my camera, E, yeah, okay, so worryingly, it hasn't even downloaded the file, so be very careful with that. However, I think there may be a workaround, um, which kind of sucks, and that is using Picasa. Let's see if this one works. 
Picasso. Again, lots of crosses over stuff. Okay, here we are. So, yeah, so Picasso looks like it can bring in the rows. So if you've got a Sony A7, no, what are these? RX100 Mark IVs, um, and you're trying to get the raw files, at least get them on your computer by using Picasa at the moment. Um, be interesting to see. Can I copy? I just want to copy one file. So that, that's that one. I want to see this one. See how much we're able to. There's almost no way of editing it in Picasa. This is this is not the best editing software. In fact, I, I, it just seems to be automatically uploading stuff to stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't want the import. And it's still uploading. Right, I need, I need to leave. I need to... If anybody knows how to work Picasa, do a video on it. Um, so I'm just, uh, annoyingly, just working with the JPEGs. Uh, let's see... Okay, let's give a review <laughs> by just looking at the JPEGs. Oh, what... What photographer does that? So this is already added with my property set. I should just go reset. So this is how it came out of the camera. Uh, and in the... Uh, yeah, you don't really want to screw around with the JPEGs too much here. That's a bit dull. Let's see. Good storm coming over. Sharp looks, yeah, definitely looks uh, nice and sharp. Oh, no, the point of here, this one, this photo is trying to get a photo of Fetties. Bit haloed. Let's see this one. Mm, there. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Cool, nice in, in uh, that was the auto ISO uh, and Aftershave is f3.2 and that's that's all looking sharp in JPEG mode. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep leaving it as that as a fact. Um, a lot of times I will do this and send this off to my clients and go, is this the photo that you want? It, what? Yeah, so they're like, okay, oh, it's got views of the Fetties College or something. So I'll get a shot like this. Click like that. That still that is look look at that. That's still that size. That's a ridiculously huge size. I'm not like that is a one to one on my screen. So that is one. That's two hand widths wide. Um, big crap actually. But we'll we'll, we'll ignore that. Um, but personally, for me, the photo in this one is not that building, but just the. Brilliant history of these chimneys. Ah, oh, I love this. This is a panorama which I want there. I really want to be able to work the raw file to get the most out of it for that that image because I think that is beautiful. I think that's such a beautiful thing. Look at that where you've got. Okay, it might be better in summertime when the gr trees are all green, but effectively all these chimneys have a history of they were somebody... Well, these ones aren't because these are all brand new, but that was heating up somebody's room in somebody's house and it was burning the wood, which is effectively the, all these trees around here to get them warm and every building had, like, dozens of chimneys on the roof and then some chimneys would be high and low and there'd be guys... Chimney sweeps everywhere around around Edinburgh. Oh, I think that is just such I love chimneys. I love chimneys. That's that's my picture. I like that. The fact that you can see a posh kid's school in the background, I'm like, yeah, whoop to do. But the other one is just seeing the history. The very new history that somebody's cleaned all these chimneys to make it look like that. So that's that's something something different. I like I like that a lot. Anyway, that almost looks like a computer game. That's, that's very cool, very cool, like that a lot. Oh, and now here is the panorama which I tried, hanging out this guy's window. Um, straight off the bat I'm waiting for my settings to be pumped into this JPEG image. Um, and uh, w there's some weird, weird, there's a big, it's like a Mr. Photo at the end. Double check whenever you are shooting these for whatever problems there might be going on here. Let's get 
get warm up as well a little bit. Shadows right up. Clarity up. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it failed to add a photo to this panorama. Damn it, that's unfortunate to a max. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, you can do cool panoramas. It's not quite as wide. Wonder why it's not being seen as 8.8. Yes, that was at its widest. Yeah, so I suppose you really have to have it horizontal. Sorry, rotated in portrait mode and then effectively clicking up and down to do the panoramas to get the most out of it. But at the same time, be careful because it looks like so either the memory card or the file or something, something went a little bit wrong there. Then it's taking photos of bikes and parks um, for company, blue sky, the JPEGs are a bit like boom, which for my clients they'll love that. Um, they're like, oh yeah, look at the, this is, this is all that we wanted, blue sky, green grass, yellow daffodils. So the colour is fantastic, that's all that they wanted. Oh, superb. Unfortunately, dead daffodil there. <laughs> is that is that going to work? We could totally have it like that, or how good is... Adobe Lightroom sucks at its, um, at its little brush tool. Absolutely sucks. Ooh, bet that doesn't work. Gonna take a bit from the road. So that's that healed. Oh, brilliant. I just never use that tool. <laughs> so, yeah, in the end, um, be careful, doubly careful. One, with when you're importing your files, your software may not be recognizing the, the raw files that are coming off of the Sony and may just be instantly not even downloading them. So double check that you're actually downloading the raw files just in case you get an update in the future so you can edit them. And secondly, double check the files whenever you're shooting because it looks like, certainly with the panoramas, it looks like, well apart from that one, that, that is a squeeze in photo. With the panoramas, it looks like there could be some issues with how it stitches or which, or just something funny going on there. So again, be careful. The, let's let's just have a little look. <coughs> at the folder system. So this it might be the case of if you're like giving your card to your client or something, you've got pr DCIM, digital camera image menu, something like that. Then 100 Super duper. So this is where all the rods, this is where all the JPEGs um, are. That's good. So it would be just a case of copy and paste from the DCIM. However, this doesn't seem to contain any video um, footage. On this memory card, there is a lot of video footage, which I'll try MP root. Anav is not that one. Some private. Wait a minute. M4 root, so there's MP root, no, but you're going to private, and then there's M4 root, then there's clip, and then there's your MP4 um, files in there. So that uh, is a not quite as easy to get, and as you saw, Adobe Lightroom didn't download any of those whatsoever. So be careful, everyone, when dealing with Sony, memory cards, photos, raw, video. It may just not, <laughs> it may just not work and just do not format your memory cards.